Good morning guys, I'm starting this vlog out in a weird way. I am currently at work walking in to do a tease for what my, I'm obviously I'm a news reporter, introduction to my channel, blah blah blah. About to do a tease in like five minutes, but I had to bring you guys to work today. I mean, I keep telling you guys I'm gonna bring you to work, like to my, one of my shoots, like actually at work. This is my work today, scene 75 Entertainment Center, and like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna explain everything, but right now, I have to figure out what I'm, oh. No, I'm, I'm locked out. No, I don't have anyone's number. This is so bad. So sorry I'm being a little hectic right now, but you're gonna see why. This is the best morning of my life. I just can't believe. Thank you so much, Agna. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. So bad. We have a tease coming up. Yes, coming to the rescue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he he, I didn't he came think about it. He, he came out to get me and then he got stuck. So Jacob, say hello, what's up? Hey world. Hey, what's up? Um and Darren. Where are you, Darren? Hello. Darren, you were great. You really were. Thank you. We're gonna film some more behind the scenes, but I need to figure out what I'm doing for this tease. <laughs> And this morning we are live at scene 75 where they have basketball, where they have beer pong, and they even have really cool driving video games. But coming up on Fox 45, this isn't what I want to talk about. No, I want to talk about that bin right there full of stuffed animals. What? Coming up, I'll explain. As now I'm official. I have my scene 75 t-shirt on that Jacob just gave me. And we are going to do actually a good job because I sucked before, but I'm not. Jacob, come on. Can you not tell them that I'm actually great at this game? I mean, you're pretty good. Are you kidding I'll, me? I'll give you a two thumbs up. Jacob, you are a liar. You're a liar. You know. You know. I okay. I can't my competition that well. All right, so number, okay, it's right here. All right. Oh. That's a pretty good start. Okay, every time everyone says that, that's what you can So, now you see what you did, Jacob. Well, you know what? It was because you got drafted in the 1975 team, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I got drafted. And you set me up on the Lakers one. You knew I was going to be doomed from the get go. I mean, you're doomed, but you just drained three, four, four in a row. Okay, now you're putting up LeBron numbers. Okay, okay. Woo! Oh yeah, they need a mic check, they need a mic check. What was it, what's my score? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, five! What's up, that's what's up, mic check. Oh, this is not an accurate mic check, so I'm screaming, okay. <laughs> Mic check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Jacob, how do you think I did? How do you think I okay, did? Okay, with 65, I'm gonna say that was pretty good. That was good. Boom, that's what's up, yes. What's your record again, Jacob? 91. Okay, actually, Jacob, I want to explain to them, I'm using this microphone for, because this is not a thing. I was gonna ask, I don't know if that's helping, but. <laughs> oh, but do you want to explain to them that we actually are pals, we know each other? Uh, yeah, we go way back. <laughs> we'll explain it. Oh, well, you were here last year, right? For the yeah. anniversary? So I, this was like one of my first stories ever. It literally was like two weeks after I graduated. Yep. And, and that was actually my first time on TV. No way! Yep. Oh my God, because I've, I've seen you, I've seen you on TV since then. I saw you on Channel 2. Oh yeah, 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 I'm on Living Dayton all the time. Uh, we don't want to, you know. Uh, uh, what? What? what was... but, but, I'm, but I'm kidding. I'm including <laughs> that. I'm not, I'm not weird like that. But you have such a fun time when you're on Fox 45, right? Always. Always. What is this world record you speak of? So you have to catch 25 stuffed animals in a minute, blindfolded. Blindfolded. Okay. Sounds easier than it is. And my question is, how did you guys come up with this? Like, uh, Well, we had to find something that was relevant to us, and stuffed animals is our game, so... Okay, and it's a lot harder than it looks. Right now, Jacob and Darren are going to give us a little demonstration. This is not going to be the real deal. Oh, no, it is not. But we just want to show you exactly how it works. So we have a young, eager Jacob over here taking his animals in his hands. Look, look at his strategy. So the key is you got to get a good throw. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got another one. Oh. <laughs> So close. It's funny because he looks so dumb, but we there know he's go. not. He's blindfolded. Coming up, we're going to continue this because, guys, this is tough work, but if anyone can do it, it is Jacob, me, and Darren. I think it's going to be set. You're, you, you, you have to stay tuned now on Fox 45. You have to stay tuned. Grab some breakfast. Stay tuned. Back to you guys. Now, Segda, um, 
Oh my god, I was for your name, Jacob. I was called you Ryan. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be offended. He's pretty cool. Right now, Segda, Jacob, and I are about to play some hoops, and we're gonna see who wins. I have a feeling you're really looking at her. Yeah, I know. Right now, I hold the record, which is 69. All right, on the count of three, gentlemen, we will do it. One, two, three. Ah. Here we go. Here we go. This is upsetting. Okay, I missed it by three points or two points, and you beat me by 70 and Saida. <laughs> you got 21. Nathan, I'm switching skills. I'm switching skills because when you're just so good at a little bit of basketball, oh, what's that? Oh, never mind. I'm starting to be bad, so that's my cue to stop. But actually, I didn't even need to stop. Jacob and I, we're a little bit, Jacob, we're sidetracked. What are we doing here? We're having too much fun. We're, we're having too much fun at Team 75, but we do want to break a world record, do we not? Of course, 100%. <laughs> so, we're gonna switch things up a little bit. Clearly, I'm not too good of a catcher, but have you seen my arm? That throw, though, so that's why. I'm gonna have Darren over here put on, look at him, he's already put on the blindfold. Darren, are you ready for this? We're gonna break a world record. We're gonna kill it. We're and can you tell them who currently holds the world record? So, uh, actually, we've got two 13-year-old girls that hold the record for 25 caught. That doesn't really sit with me. Does that sit with you? No, it doesn't. So let's change that. Let's do it. High five. <laughs> you couldn't do it. All right. So we're going to have this little, nice little stuffed animals. Yeah. Can you just turn them a little bit? That'd be great. We have Jacob helping out. All right, Darren. We are going to go and go. Okay. <laughs> that was not good. Jacob, can you kind of just coach me a little bit here? Yeah, so it's okay. Why do I the head? Of those the head. Kind of flip them up flick it up. Head. Yes. Yeah, oh, good. Good. man. Okay. This is so bad. Jacob, help me. Just throw some. <laughs> throw some. Come on. We, 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 gotta, we when you, when it comes to 13 year old girls, you got to cheat. <laughs> yes. Cheating is okay. It's all good. Actually, Jacob, can you kind of talk about how strict it is, the Guinness World Records? Yeah, no, Guinness has a lot of rules that we have to follow. So there, you have to be a certain distance away. We have two judges that have to be there, independent judges. Uh, um, we have two timekeepers, we have a videographer, we have a photographer, um, and then, you know, as many as many applicants that want to try out. And wait, and didn't you say the judges can't be here for more than like four hours? Yeah, yeah, they have to be here for four hours. They cannot hours be no, fatigued. No, one minute longer, yeah. Honestly, at this point, Jacob, I say we just start pelting him because yeah, I, think that's, I think that's just the best. Oh, no. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so sad, we'll fight! But, guys, I am feeling like a world record is going to be beat here at Scene 75. Jacob, when can people come out to do this? And then we're going to do this last hit for Columbus. I guess what you guys don't know is sometimes we do hits on our uh, Columbus station. It's like our sister station. So we're going to be doing a, a segment on there for them. Super excited, and let's do it. Oh my gosh, today was so much fun. Right now I'm in the car outside scene 75. And like, seriously guys, so as I told you, I had already interviewed Jacob before it, last year, like literally this week last year uh, for their anniversary. So I already had met him. Um, it's funny thinking about that, those interviews last year compared to this year. Like, I remember being nervous for them. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, like before each one, I just felt like uh, endless things of nerves. And now I'm so like, N not like that. I'm like, this is what we're gonna do. Um, but it's so funny what a different mindset I was in just a year ago, a year of experience. But also, seeing like my old interviewees, like people I met, people who were so cool, and like getting to interview them again, like I love, and that's why one of the big things, I don't know if you know, like with this business, like people ask, like, what what are your future plans and like like you move up like this is market number 64 like the goal is to move up to a higher market but like having so much fun here and like literally just loving my life and enjoying it it's like it makes you like not want to move up i mean i don't know like maybe i just lucked out like getting like a really great job and like working with awesome people i don't know but like it's it's like it's kind of annoying that i just don't know what life is and it's a good problem to have i guess it's a good problem to have but seriously i just like i'm really happy um right now we're gonna go back to the station we're gonna try to um talk to some people let's do it all right where's my phone wait first of all how are you show, feeling though. nathan i feel alive again thank god even though your voice is my vo it's just i call it a little uh seasoned No, it's, it sounds like a, oh, Four, it's, come, season implies it sounds good. Coming out back from being sick, four and a half hour show. It's rough on the old vocal cords. Oh my god! Oh my god. But 
Unfortunately, I got two days off now to get it back to normal. For the weekend. I'm not gonna talk at all, um, which is rare for But me. actually, when Nathan, so when Nathan came in, he went to this desk right here on Monday. I told them already, like I was <laughs> I was vlogging when I was uh, filling in. I felt like I was gonna but die. I knew before anyone else knew that he was not okay. He literally was the green emoji. He came in and was just like, Ugh! like what were you doing, Nathan? Well, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I was like, I kept like coughing because I felt like I was gonna get sick, but I wasn't sure. I was told I looked yellow, quite literally. You did. And I'm like, I just can't do this, I'll die on the desk. I literally walk in the parking lot, and throw up right in the middle of the parking lot. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I don't feel bad. Blah! Yeah, it's terrible. That's so bad. I'm just being hospital. honest right now. Yeah, threw up in the parking lot. It was dreadful. But it rained, I think, that day, which was great. Thank God. He was immaculate. Just tried it. Maybe some birds ate it. God. Oh! He fed them. That's good. That's always nice. Yeah. Clancy's then... catching skills are... Up, out there. Up there. They're Throwing up there. skills are just as good. Are they? AK, I'm terrific. I just said on air that she's not much of an athlete. Okay, but that's not true. Yeah, you did that. I, heard it. I am. Yeah. That's why it's so funny. Did I, you see I the literally. Way she threw? Nathan, I would beat you in basketball, and I could say that so confidently. Except so confidently. Ooh. What kid? What kid? <laughs> Get her, Becky. <laughs> I I beat him. Our cumulative scores. I I won out of everyone. Not Darren. Watch that. You did. So there's no proof. Yeah, Ooh. I did. Yeah, there is actually. Ooh. Actually, there is Becky. I recorded on my vlog camera. Boom. Got him! But yeah, Nathan, we are so happy you are back. Thank you. I feel good to be back. My I desk. Feel, I feel person. kind of alive again. Even though you did have. I can't believe I just. Yeah, yeah, I'm not you, sick anymore. You did vomit. That was on Monday. And he <laughs> that was on me. Monday. He called me. He was like, Claudia, I just threw up in the parking lot. And I was like, ew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That was very considerate, actually, to call. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Yeah, I'm not going to go clean it up. <laughs> that was a scary moment. I was literally like, okay, feel better. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So, Claudia has a predicament in her life. Tell them what your predicament is. Okay, so for the first time ever, I'm filling in. I'm working a Saturday. I'm filling in this weekend because the producer can't work tomorrow, so they and tap me okay. in. We're gonna tap you in. You're <laughs> in. Like, you're in, coach. Put me in. No. <laughs> you guys need to know working a Saturday is like working like a whole nother ball game. Yeah, um, because we're used to fun and rainbows and butterflies. Yeah, so we, we, yeah tell them morning show and nighttime show, two different ballparks. You you would think we weren't even when I the wait, same when I, right, so I'll tell you. First of all, I'll tell them when I filled in on a Saturday last summer, I had nightmares the night before. <laughs> First of all, second of all, I ended up at the craziest scene, Claudia. So I'm used to the morning show. I'm used to what I okay, scene 75. Anyone? <laughs> That's what I'm used to. I ended up having to go to a Trump protest, and then they ended up trying to like, like I don't know, like gang up on me. Like I've never experienced. I actually did a whole YouTube video on it. They like did were you? trying to ask me what my political views were, and it was pitch black at night, and it was just me and these five guys, and then one of the, our photog, and it was so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Um, but I didn't. <laughs> so but that's good. you're here. But I told Claudia she's gonna die tomorrow, and and then thanks to Clancy telling me that she had nightmares about working on Saturday. <laughs> Last night, yesterday afternoon, <laughs> um, I was sleeping, and I had a nightmare about me working tomorrow. I literally, in my dream, I like oh, somehow overslept, and I didn't make it in time, so I had no time to produce the show. So we had nothing going on air, and I was. <laughs> I feel like you'll be fine. I mean, everyone says that, but I don't know. I think I'm used to fun and funny and, you know, lighthearted. Don't Please know. don't watch it. I'm going to record Please it. Please don't watch it. I'm going to record it and watch the dumpster fire on Sunday morning. I'm so excited to wake up in my bed and just be like, actually, I don't have a TV in my room. I don't know why I just lied. I don't have a TV in my room. I'm excited to wake up in my bed and then go to my couch and then and watch then walk it. walk to the couch and then boom. On. Wish me luck, guys, because who knows? I might not have a job after this week. We wish her well. Thank you so much, Claudia, for coming on the show today. <laughs> Until next time. Thank and you, Clancy. Fun fact: Claudia has been vlogging, so check out her vlog. Oh my God! Channel, yes. Which uh, that's I'll us. Down below. That's us. <laughs> that's us right there. That's us. <laughs> She's a Canon. I have a Sony. Together we're Cassoni. <laughs> a Cassoni. So yeah. Yes, queen. Yes, queen.